etwas dreckig geworden inzwischen. Das haben The Creatures auch gespielt. Also unsere Sendezeit reicht nicht mehr, dass wir alles davon zeigen können. Aber wir werden auf jeden Fall etwas jetzt daraus zeigen können. Vor allem war auch ganz interessant zu sehen, wie Susie ausgesehen hat. Wir waren alle gespannt, wird sie jetzt ganz anders aussehen. Es gibt die Banshees nicht mehr. Nein, sie sahen etwa so aus, aber ganz interessante Klamotten hatte sie an. Man könnte meinen, sie hat sich vielleicht also irgendwas hier vorher abgeschaut. Zum Beispiel, können wir das zeigen, Detlef, mal kurz hier? Diesen wunderbaren Mirror Bowl. Also wenn wir das genau sehen können, so was ähnliches hatte Susie an. Budgie, ich weiß, ob wir das im Bild überhaupt zu sehen bekommen werden. Budgie hatte unter anderem ein Mini-Rock auch an, aber der saß hinter dem Schlagzeug, also kann sein, dass wir das nicht ganz sehen werden. Aber auf jeden Fall trag, trug er einen Mini-Rock. Aber wir haben viel über Klamotten geredet, jetzt wollen wir noch ein bisschen Musik hören. Es gibt gegen Ende der Sendung noch Musik von Liquido, von Reef, von Des und von King's X, also dranbleiben. Aber zunächst Susie and Budgie, also The Creatures. Grow fonder, don't make it separate. Just a small reminder, a keepsake. Yeah. 
Disconnected. Got us in cages backstage. Back. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> 
this hot camp. I wanna see Pluto. I wanna have fun. I wanna turn blue. Thanks for coming and sharing the shit with the sheep. Okay, next. Suivant. Vamanos amigo, there's a car crash coming. Outside your home, kiss girl, kiss girl. Your loving strokes are fatal charms. Revenge bites back into her arms. You didn't miss girl. You hit girl. You hit her with a force of steel. She's wrapped around your burning wheel.
Kiss a girl, kiss a girl. Your loving strokes are fatal charms. Revenge bites back into her arms. You didn't miss a girl. You hit a girl. You hit her with a force of steel. She's wrapped around your burning wheels. Around your burning wheels, oh. Around your burning wheels. Kiss girl, miss girl, kiss girl. Miss the owl, oh, kiss girl, miss girl, kiss girl, miss the girl. You hit her with a force of steel. She's wrapped around your burning wheels. Around your burning wheels, oh, miss girl. You didn't miss girl. You didn't miss girl. Miss girl.
The Creatures, das sind im Grunde Susie und Budgie, die beiden sitzen jetzt neben mir. Mit Geschenk, what's this, a present from one of your fans? Yeah, for one of the many fans that are following us around. We have a, the drum kit normally accumulates lots of different creatures. So do you collect all of these things? Yeah, I keep them. Keep them. They're all like mascots for the drum kit. Also das hat sie geschenkt bekommen von einem Fan, and eben. And sie werden alle behalten. And especially as I'm a big cat fan, anyway. So. Sie hat Katzen auch ganz gerne. The creatures have been around in various forms for a long time, if you like, but it's, with the records that have been made, there's been a lot of gaps in between. When you compare this new record with what you set out to do with the very first record, do you see like major changes in that period as to what you wanted to do with the creatures? Um, with the creatures, it was always, it was always a kind of a, a thing that we, we could go, go do when the Banshees were not active. And now it's become the thing that we do we will be doing all of the time. So, it, of course, it, it, that, that in itself makes it a different prospect, you know, because we can now voice all the ideas that we, we, we have, whereas before we would, you know, maybe say, mm, okay, this is like, you know, we, we would do creatures things, if you like, which were the two of us, um, and, and keep other things back, if you like, for when the, the group re reconvened. Die Gruppe hat bisher insgesamt drei Platten gemacht und ich habe gefragt, ob es einen riesen Unterschied gibt zwischen die erste und die neue Platte, weil in der Zwischenzeit gibt es natu natürlich Susie and the Banshees nicht mehr. Und Budgie hat gesagt, das ist natürlich anders, weil damals, als man Sachen geschrieben hat, hat man schon überlegt, ist es vielleicht besser für die Banshees oder ist es besser für die Creatures. Inzwischen ist es ganz einfach, sie schreiben nur für die Creatures. You've got your own record label to put out the record as well. Does that mean that you've got now not just the freedom but less pressure on you to do exactly what you want? Has that in a, in a way affected what you've been writing recently? Um, it hasn't affected what been, we've been writing, but it's certainly affected about our approach. And it certainly is a, a, a massive sense of getting rid of the shackles to an extent. I mean, when we were with Polydor, uh, we were pretty much left to our own devices within that. But it did change towards the beginning of the 90s. It closed down a hell of a lot. It became, I don't know, seemingly run by accountants and uh, lawyers. And, and it was very restrictive to us creatively. Um, and now we can do as much as we want because I, what I don't like is this whole concept of you like spend so long making the album and then you tour it and it's all reliant on having a, the hit single and then if it's not a hit forget it and you know another three years later you might get another chance and you know I, I can't wait around for that you know I, where we're, we've got too many things happening and, it, and it's just fun that there's no pressure that what you release you know is dependent on what the reaction is I mean we, we have a we're getting a very strong fan base who are very much going with the spirit of how we're approaching things. We, we really rejected a lot of the values of what the music industry stands for. Um, and especially now, it seems to, have, seems to have gone full circle. You know, we're talking about 20 years to where we came from. And it's, it's ironic that we're, we're back at square one, but it's been necessary to do because we couldn't function side by side within the industry with, with, with all its limitations. Also ein Kreis hat sich im Grunde geschlossen. Wenn man bedenkt, die Gruppe, also Susie and the Banshees, damals begann vor etwa 20 Jahren, damals eine ganz kleine Plattenfirma. Inzwischen haben sie auch ihre eigene Firma gegründet und sind jetzt zufrieden, weil zuletzt war das so, dass die Beine Riesenplattenfirmen unter Vertrag waren und sie hatten das Gefühl, besonders Anfang der 90er Jahre, dass diese Firma vielmehr von Rechtsanwälte bestimmt wurde. Es ging also, also weniger um die Musik und es ging vielmehr ums Geschäft. Inzwischen haben sie die Freiheit, können das machen, was sie wollen. I mean, you were talking about a circle having sort of closed itself, but in musical terms, I mean, you've come an awful long way since, since those beginnings. I mean, is it ironic for you to look back and think, God, that's how we started? Is that the same? person or the persons that you were then? I mean, you see yourselves very different, differently these days. Um, I think when we started, we, you know, maybe you have aspirations to be in a band or to make a noise or to make a statement that, that is something, an expression of how you feel, of, uh, you know, your, your feelings about the society you live in. Um, after a while, you, you, you find a voice as, as a musician, maybe, 
but um, you know, you still kind of, I think we were always looking to make a sound that was unique to us, and we were always kind of trying to kick against the, if you like, the, the very acceptable face of, you know, guitars, bass, drums, voice. Um, and you know, so we're always, we were always t uh, trying to turn something new around, find what the latest technology we had to offer. We always wanted to use the, the, the kind of the next thing, if you like. Um, um, I try and keep our ideas fresh, and, and uh, it's, it's brought us all this time later that we've approached this, this new recording now with pretty much the same, almost like it feels like kids starting again, you know, because what you have to do is a constantly unlearn the, the, the kind of tricks you learn in a way. It's, 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 um, it's, it's a matter of always rejecting what comes easiest because I think out of uh, a sense of unease, you know, making yourself like slightly on the edge, you may be fortunate in finding something that, that kind of gets pretty close to a true kind of expression, you know. Um, so. Also, Bodji hat gesagt, es ist sehr wichtig, dass man ein gewisses Gefühl von Unsicherheit bewahrt, weil dann hat man das Gefühl, man kann weitergehen. Ich habe im Grunde gefragt, wie es damals gewesen ist, vor 20 Jahren, ob die Personen, die sie damals waren, inzwischen völlig anders äh, geworden sind. Und er hat gesagt, eigentlich nicht. Also von Anfang an war das so, dass man eine bestimmte Aussage machen wollte, man wollte auch einen bestimmten Sound erzeugen und das ist immer noch so geblieben. Von daher ist es so, jedes Mal, wenn man eine neue Platte macht, ist es wie ein Neuanfang. Man versucht jedes Mal, was Neues zu machen. Sie interessieren sich sehr für die neuesten Technologien, versuchen sie auch immer mit einzubeziehen. To what extent then, I mean, because Baji was saying that you're always interested in, in working on the edge of what is technologically possible. I mean, do you though at some point get to a point where you just think it's taking over the technology, yeah. we want to get away from that, or is it always e easy to incorporate it into what you want to do, subordinate it, basically? Well, well for us, it's, it's vital that we use both, the both the best worlds. I mean, new technology is great, but it does depend on the people who are using it. Um, and for example, like playing this uh, festival tonight, um, I, I don't understand why, how bands can get off on playing to dat tapes and eliminating the human element of error. You know, it makes for an easy life and, you know, things run smoothly. But uh, I would feel pretty dissatisfied is if, you know, you just had that constant to work with. So. For, for anything that we've done in the past where we've embraced technology, there's, we've always felt it necessary to involve it with the physical spontaneity as well, because the idea of eliminating the chance, the accident, the moment, to me is, you know, you might as well give up. You might as well have a, a, you know, a desk job. It doesn't interest me at all. Also Susi hat gesagt, dass Zufall sehr wichtig ist. Wir haben über neue Technologien gesprochen. Sie hat gesagt, klar, wir benutzen die neuesten Technologien. Es geht aber immer darum, was man damit macht. Sie kann nicht verstehen, zum Beispiel, wie manche Bands, wie auch heute Abend teilweise, mit Dattbände auftreten, weil da ist was ganz anderes im Spiel. Das sind nicht mehr die Menschen, die im Vordergrund stehen, sondern die Technologien. Und sie hat gesagt, das geht nicht. Wenn das so ist, dann bestimmt die Technologie und nicht die Menschen, was los ist. Und deswegen ist es sehr wichtig, dass die Menschen im Vordergrund stehen. Dann entsteht Zufall. Darauf kann man auch reagieren. Eine sehr gute Aussage, wie ich finde. Thank you very much for taking the time. Okay. Special you said in well, I wish I was, but you know, that's another matter altogether. <laughs> the important thing is we want to have fun as well. We're having some fun. That's the main thing. We're, we're kind of loosened up, I suppose. Because you mustn't lose a sense of humor. I think people maybe considered that over the years we uh, were, were pretty um, humorless. I think it's a, not my impression no. at all. No. no, not my impression. No, we've got a very good sense of humour. <laughs> well, we do shows like this for Christ's sake. Ja, Sie können nicht also <laughs> über sich selbst lachen. Sie machen Sendungen wie diese hier. Das ist der Beweis dafür, dass Sie gut <laughs> über sich selbst lachen können. Okay. Thanks very much. We have no sense of humour. Okay. <laughs>